So the Ukrainian ambassador to the EU recognizing that Europe's dependence on Russian gas is an issue when trying to de-escalate tensions with Russia. However, he also said that there is a better understanding among the 27 EU nations about the threats posed by the Kremlin. Russia need to reinvent itself as a, as a modern state and uh, stop uh, clinching uh, to the, um, let's say, idea of reconstruction of the Soviet Union. So it's, it's already gone. And uh, the idea of uh, division of the world, of uh, ending up with the new Yalta, I think it's non-starter. And not only for Ukraine, but also for, for our partners in the EU. And uh, Joseph Borrell made it very clear. So there is no discussion about the spheres of interest. It's, it's impossible. So it's a different situation, and Russia needs to respect Ukraine as an independent state, choosing its own way of development. There's a school of thought suggesting that uh, what's happening now, these tensions with Russia, are actually an attempt from President Putin to destabilize the EU, to divide the 27. Do you think he's achieving that? Mm, I think uh, he's achieving the contrary. There is more unity among the member states and more understanding of uh, Russian actions, if not Russian motives. Uh, so it does not work. What makes you say that? The reality we have, uh, we witnessed a gradual evolution of the EU position towards Ukraine, towards the crisis in, in our relations with Russia, and I think this is a positive evolution. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.